All right guys, well today I'm gonna to show you how to change the belt on this zero turn lawnmower. It's gotten to the point where I can start the mower deck up. It takes a little while for the blades to start spinning. And then as we go through the grass and we get the thick grass, it bogs down. So uh, I've never changed the blade on this mower. I've had it probably seven years or so, maybe, yeah, probably seven years. And um, the belt feels pretty sloppy. So we picked up a new belt today and um, I'm gonna show you how to change it. So we've brought the lawnmower into the shop and we're going to lower down the mower deck as far as we can. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the little belt guards. And I'm just going to use a half inch socket and my ratchet. You actually don't have to remove them all the way, you just have to loosen them up. And then the, the guard will just pop right off of there. There you go. Now that you got that off, you got to remove the one on the other side over there. But now would be a good time to take the time to clean this out if you forgot to do it the last time you mowed. And then same thing, you'll want to take the time to clean this side out too. So you just scrape it all out. And that will scrape get all the big chunks out. And if you want to get super crazy with it, you can even chop back it out. I mean, because really, how often are you going to do this? So it's all cleaned out. So now we're just going to take the belt off. I'm just going to do it from this side. Like I said, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. This is just how I'm doing it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll it so it comes off the pulley. Hopefully I don't pinch my fingers. But, so it's gonna roll off. And then what we have to do is we just have to pull the belt out of there. We got the belt pulled out of there and if we inspect it you can see right here the belt's cracked so I mean that could be why it's a little loose and it's it's probably really worn out I'll get the new one so we can compare them so this is the new one and if we put them next to each other I don't know if you can tell the difference between them but this one's way blacker. This one's kind of dirty. So now all we have to do is just put it back on the opposite way we took it off. And good thing is, is if you forgot how to do it or which way the belt goes around the pulley, there's actually instructions right on the mower deck. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it all the way to the back pulley, put it between those two pulleys, and then I got to push this end all the way over so it goes to the other side so I can reach it. There we go. Go to the other side. Fish it through this pulley so that it's gailing the direction it needs to be. There we go. Pull right side hooked up already. So it's all the way around the directions it needs to go, just like the diagram. So we're gonna go hook that one up in the back. So we gotta go over top of this bar and then we gotta pull this. Straight back and hook it right. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now I'm just gonna hope it goes on as easy as it came off. As most people know, when you have new belts, they're not very. Um, they're kind of tight. So hopefully it goes on just as easy. Oh, and it fell off the other side. Now you're gonna go all the way to the other side. All right, so obviously something is wrong because it's not very tight anywhere. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of slop in it, which 
my guess is, is I got these belts. I got these ones backwards. It needs to go on this side, then the inside. So it's gonna go on the outside of that one. We'll take this back off. And then we gotta feed this one on the inside of this one. So we got inside, outside. All right, now that should make it nice and difficult to hook on. As you can see, we are way short, just as I suspected. Now we got to try to hook it on the wheel. Ugh. Let's try number one. Remember, you want to make sure you don't get your fingers caught in the pulley. So I have a feeling one of these pulleys are going to, it's got to be like a tensioner one. But, all right. Here we go. And just like, just like that, boom. And it's on. Okay, so now it's nice and tight. I mean, before it was super sloppy, especially, especially this spot right here, it was super sloppy. So now we just gotta put the, the shields back on. And then just for fun, we're gonna check the big belt in the back, make sure it's not in the wrong spot. I just really hope there's not a top and a bottom to that belt, but oh well. All right, so now we'll take and fire it up and see if the belt stays on. Alright, well I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you feel like you need to watch some more, you can check out some of the other videos in the sidebar down below. And if you need a belt and don't have time to run to the store, I have a link down in the description below where you can order it off of Amazon. So, thanks for watching.